is Namor a villain? In his first appearance as Namor was an enemy of the United States, comics historian Les Daniels noted that Namor was a freak in the service of chaos. Although the Submariner acted like a villain, his cause had some justice, and readers reveled in his assaults on civilization. Namor the Submariner, born Namor McKenzie, is an anti-hero in the Marvel Universe, and is the son of an Atlantean princess and a human making him a mutant Atlantean hybrid. Unlike Aquaman, Namor always knew he would rule Atlantis. He also had a human father and an Atlantean mother, but Namor was born and raised in Atlantis. In Namor's official first Marvel Comics story arc, he ended up displaced for a short time after World War II, but he returned to the throne that he rightfully owned. Namor was the very first Marvel character who has a history that spans over 70 years of publication. Namor's first modern appearance was in Fantastic Four No. 4. Namor has been repeatedly identified as Marvel's first mutant. Namor is highly intelligent, showing himself to be a master leader and tactician. He's also a skilled diplomat earning himself diplomatic immunity when speaking with the United States. The mutant son of a human sea captain and the princess of the mythical undersea kingdom of Atlantis, Namor possesses the super strength and aquatic abilities of the Homo Merminus race, as well as the mutant ability of flight, along with other superhuman powers.